Hey guys, how's it going? Eric Norris here. Today I want to show you the two vehicles I currently have. This 2002 BMW 745i and this 1979 Corvette C3 red on red with mirrored T-tops. Come check them out. All right, so we'll start off with the BMW. Again, this is a 2002 BMW 745i, fully loaded. Every single option you can think of that they offered back in 2002. This is the highly coveted 7 Series. It's a little dirty right now, but just wanted to give you guys a quick little tour of these two vehicles. Windows are nicely tinted. Looks really good that way. Interior has been very well kept. It's dirty right now. Needs a uh, good detailing and cleaning. Um, but uh, it's been a really good car. I've been really enjoying this thing. It's got the sunroof, got a great sound system. Um, there, there are a lot of really great things I can say about it. I've been really enjoying it. Um, maintenance costs can be a little crazy sometimes, but um, I truly enjoyed this thing. You know, they call it the ultimate driving experience. And I can kind of see why, because um, it's very smooth out on the highway. You'll be going 90 miles an hour and you don't even realize it. And the way this thing corners, for being a very large sedan, this thing hugs the corners extremely well. And it's pretty sweet that it's got 325 horsepower, which is pretty awesome. So it's all basically stock. That's how I like my cars, not tampered with. And um, so yeah, I've been really enjoying this one. And uh, we'll move on to the 79 Corvette. So this is the C3, Generation 3. They made this body style from 1968 all the way till 1982. And this being a 79, it's got the mirrored T-tops, which is super cool. You can see how it's got that reflective look to it. And what's cool about the T-tops too, is the fact that they're tinted and that's really cool too. So you basically have a sunroof all year round, which is really cool. Um, this has the L48 engine, the 350 Chevy engine. And um, I absolutely love this car. I think these are two of my most favorite cars I've ever owned. Um, I like them in both in different ways. Uh, this is kind of the daily and this is kind of the weekend car. And um, I love this thing so much. I probably got more people giving me thumbs up on the road and people just stoked to see this thing more than any other car I've ever owned. Um, yeah, so I'll show you the interior here. There's a couple things that need a little fixing, but uh, nothing too major. It's all there, it's all intact, red on red. I just absolutely love this interior. A couple minor things that I would need to do to get this thing really sweet would be fixing this, probably getting a new panel here and gluing it back, or maybe using the same panel and just gluing it. Uh, there's also, there's a brake light on, and so it's not the emergency brake, but uh, I think it's one of the calipers. We've done, I've done everything to the brake system, so I know it's not the master cylinder, because that's brand new. I know it's not the uh, brake booster, because that's brand new, but anyway, and then the speed, on, or the tachometer needs to be reconnected. I had a buddy messing with my car, and he never put it back, so I'm got this stupid thing happening but uh super cool car overall i have never owned a corvette before i have owned chargers and challengers and they've been super fun and cool but you know corvette something really cool and special about it and also i'll say this in my opinion this is the most sexiest body style that has ever been made <laughs> I really truly think that and believe that um, so yeah super fun to take out taking it to uh, weekend car shows and things like that been really truly enjoying it enjoying both of them tremendously um, 
but I also have some upcoming vehicle purchases that I'll probably be making. So at some point, I won't hold on to these forever and I will relinquish them off to the next owner. But in the meantime, while I own them, I have been enjoying them and truly appreciate having them. And uh, yeah, for all you Beamer fans, this thing is so sweet. And of course, for all you Corvette fans, so fun, so sweet. I don't think this will be the last time I own a Corvette and I may own another BMW. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you other than I've been really enjoying them. And you know, anything I own, I take very good care of. And any purchase I make, I always try to find a car, like I said earlier, something that's hasn't been tampered with and messed with where some knucklehead goes in there and tries to fix everything himself. I always try to find something that's just, you know, low mileage, really good, well-maintained, you know, something that's been garaged. And uh, yeah, so anyway, these are my two vehicles and I hope you've enjoyed the tour and I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.